I married Joe. What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married Joe. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Joan Davis. With Jim Backus in I Beverly. Uh, everything and everybody uh, looks like fish to me today. You really got those fish on your mind. Oh, you said it. Since Brad started collecting fish, that's all that he talks about. You know, now when he tells me to go jump in the lake, I consider it a compliment. <laughs> you know, Joan, you ought to use the system I use to get Biff interested in me. Uh, toast, please. <laughs> Huh? Sure. All I did was take an interest in the things that Biff liked. I played tennis with him. I hiked with him. I went bowling with him. Is that easy, huh? Sure. The whole idea is you got to fight fire with fire. I wonder how it would work if you fight fish with fish. <laughs> Lady? Not yet. <laughs> See, there's a pretty one. And the poor little thing's in solitary. Cambodia, better splendid. Say, I'll bet Brad would love that one. Uh, will you have that fish gift wrap, please? Gift wrap? Uh, yes, and enclose a card. Uh, let's see, I want to say, uh, here's another fish to add to your aquarium. Your guppies are terrific. But remember, you didn't marry him. <laughs> oh, boy. That's not so good, is it? Uh, the price is five dollars. How do you gift wrap a fish? Well, you just take the tissue paper and you wrap it around the tail and the little ribbon around. I'll just take it the way it is. Now, about that fish lady, uh, you ought to know. Oh, you... my husband knows all about fish. He's an expert. Judge Stephen. Oh, sure. He comes in here all the time. I know. Goodbye. Thank you very much. <coughs> oh, you just have a customer, Beth? Yeah, Pop. She bought one of those Cambodia bedders. Cambodia bedders? I hope you told her to keep it in a separate tank. Don't worry, Pop. It's for Judge Stevens. He knows what to do. Oh, good, because that Siamese fish is a cannibal. It'll eat up every fish in the tank. <laughs> Huh? Well, what's wrong? What's wrong? I got something to show you, honey. Oh, that's nice. Well, come on, dear. Get up. Oh, no, honey. I was having such a wonderful dream. I dreamt I was exhibiting my uh, Tropicanus Africana, and it was just a sensation. Well, that's good, honey. I got a surprise for you. All right, dear. Where is it? How much does it cost? And when is the first payment? Oh, no, darling. Honest. Guess what, dear? Yes. It's, it's a beautiful new fish, and I put it in your tank last night. Oh. Yeah, and I want to show it to you right now. Oh, honey, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, all right, darling. I want you to see it. Okay. I got it for you. Oh. Ta-da! <laughs> Joan. Joan, where are the other fish? 
Joan, what kind of a fish did you put in the tank last night? Well, it had a Greek name. Um, betcha spend a fin. Oh, no, no. Don't tell me it was a better splendor. Yeah, that, that was it, dear. Oh, Johnny, that's a Siamese fighting fish, and it ate up all the other fish in the tank. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor little Victor. Poor Melissa. Oh, poor little Emma. <laughs> was Emma more important than the others? <laughs> Emma was a drop of Africa. Oh, well, don't worry, honey. With a disease like that, it wouldn't have lived anyway. No. Hmm? Tropicana. Africana is the most rarest of all tropical fish I was going to exhibit at the fish fancier. Joan, how could you do this? How could you? We just don't stand there. Say something. Boop, boop, did him, dot him, want him. <laughs> But, Brad, darling, I've told you a dozen times I was only trying to join you in your hobby. I'm sorry for what happened to Melissa and Victor and little Emma. And believe me, Brad, I, I was only trying to help. <laughs> Brad, don't look at me that way. As if you were accusing me. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll make up for what I did. Uh, I'll throw myself into the tank with this cannibal fish. <laughs> Oh. Brad, I can't stand to see you so unhappy. Kill me, beat me, do anything you want to me. But please, please, just talk to me once. I tell you, Brad, I just can't take this. I can't go on. Please, Brad, after all, I'm not a criminal. Forgive me. Joan, Joan, I, I could forgive the others, but not Emma. She was a Tropicana Africana. After all, I haven't done anything so bad that you should stop talking to me. But, Joni, I am talking. It's driving me crazy. Right now, I imagine you're talking to me. Joni! <laughs> you are talking to me! Yes, yes, and all I can say is, is, is this. Uh, of all the adult-pated, inane, inept, ill-considered, rattle-brained things you've ever done, this is absolutely the most exasperating. How a woman with so broad intelligence that loses such asinine folly is absolutely beyond me. Oh, Brad, you do love me. You talk to me. Honey. Oh, dear, no. <laughs> Thanks anyway, Professor Pemberton. Goodbye. You heard for yourself, Mrs. Stevens. Pemberton is the only one in this whole city who has a Tropicana Africana, and he won't part with it. But it's the only chance I have to make up with my husband. The way the professor sounded, the only way you could get that fish would be if you went down to the Aquarium Society and took it out of the tank when he wasn't looking. <laughs> the Aquarium Society when he wasn't looking. <laughs> By the way, uh, what is the penalty in this state for fish napping? Well, I don't know, but I imagine if somebody stole a fish, they'd get sent up the river. <laughs> hey, just a minute. Where do you think you're going? Uh, in there. I better read that sign. Members only. The only thing that goes through that door is members. Yeah, but this is very urgent. I've got to see a man about a fish. Sorry, lady, but rules are rules. Oh, but this is an emergency, really. You see, Brad is absolutely crazy about him. You know how it is when you start collecting. So I thought I'd help, and I bought one. But in the morning, they were gone, and mine was big and fat. And now he won't talk to me. So that's when I got on the phone and tried. <laughs> Believe me, I tried, but they wouldn't sell. So now I got her, and you won't let me. Will you? <laughs> Look, lady. If I knew what you were talking about, which I don't, and I can let you in, which I can't, I'd still keep you out, which I am. I knew you'd understand. Hey, just a minute. Listen, the only thing that gets in here is members and fish, and you don't look like either. <laughs> okay. Hey, beat it. Ha, 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 ha.
I think you'll find that we have one of the most complete collections of topics anywhere in the country. Well, I've heard, Mr. Oh, uh, this is the multiferous Panchatomata. Blended specimen. In this little tank, we have the Emoliumensis group. Very interesting. <laughs> and this is our Coriodorus fatality. Oh, that's the poison fight. Oh, a man can only carry the one. That's a little devil, isn't he? Mm, yes. <laughs> and this is our prize collection. Oh, Tropicanus Africanus. Mm. Oh, it certainly is a beauty. Yeah, there's only one other specimen in the entire city. Judge Bradley Stevens has it. Really? Mm. Now, the subtropical collection is in the other room. Would you care to look at it? I'd love it, Professor. There's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Well, that's uh, uh, Oh, this must be the reporter from the fish pants you oh. digest. Reporter? <laughs> oh, yes, of course, reporter. <laughs> well, it's nice meeting you, Professor. <laughs> uh, just a moment. Oh, aren't you going to cover the meeting? Oh, yes, I was just getting a breath of fresh air. Awfully fishy in here, you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> goodbye. Oh, the meeting. Well, you see, I can't possibly cover it because I'm writing a big story about the, the dry spell up at the Columbia River. <laughs> dry spell up at the Columbia River? Haven't you heard? 
Why, it's so dry up there, the fish are walking upstream to spawn. Very long walk. Oh, oh, the meeting, the meeting's ready to begin. Come here, uh, Just bring in your seat, fish lover. Come, ladies, gentlemen, quickly, quickly now, let's begin the meeting. We're ready to begin. I, uh, I think we're very fortunate tonight in having with us a real tropical fish expert. And this is the reporter from the Fish Fancier's Digest, Miss... Uh, 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 Fisher. Miss Fisher. <laughs> Fisher. That's very appropriate, isn't it? Uh, you couldn't have done better if you made up the name yourself. <laughs> well, I guess I couldn't. <laughs> uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have to be quickly about this. Miss uh, Fisher has to leave, uh, but I think we can prevail upon her to say a few words before she goes. <laughs> well, maybe just a few words. Uh, what would you like? me talk about. Mm. Uh, how about the interrelationship between the mollusks, crustaceans, and other marine invertebrates? Yeah, how about that? Or you might say a few words about the gem of our collection, the Tropicanus Africana. Oh, the Tropicanus Africana. Now, there's a fish that's close to my heart. But I really don't have time to go into it now, so if you'll excuse me, I'll go. Uh, oh, please, just a few general remarks then. Oh, very well. <laughs> Well, as we all know, fish are generally found in water. Except in the fish market, where they're generally found in ice. <laughs> well, now, there are some people who claim that the dog is man's best friend. But I'm sure all of us here feel that the fish is man's best friend. Which, of course, makes the best friend of all the dog fish. <laughs> Speaking of dogfish reminds me of catfish. Uh, you see, these two don't get along together at all. As a matter of fact, when they do get together, they fight like catfish and dogfish. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you folks a story about the traveling sailfish? Well, it seems he couldn't get a room, see. And he was going... Oh, oh, Judge Stevens. Uh, I'm very sorry. We had to get a little early tonight. Uh, uh, this is Miss Fisher from the uh, uh, Fish Fancier's Digest. Oh, yes, yes. Miss Fisher. I've read every word that she's ever written. She does remarkable things with fish. <laughs> yeah, will you please proceed with your remarks, Miss Fisher? Yes, yes, please do. I'll uh, <laughs> sit right here. <laughs> Fish, oh, fish, of course, everybody loves fish. Uh, my favorite is uh, brook trout with lemon butter. You must be careful uh, not to get Fisher, the bones. Please, Miss Fisher. Miss you, Fisher. What? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, let's see where... Oh, yes. <laughs> it is generally known that... Awfully <laughs> warm in here. Don't forget it, please. Where was I? <laughs> oh, yes. <clears throat> now, uh, uh, speaking of fish, it is generally known that a fish has very strong... <laughs> also, uh, everyone knows that a fish has very strong... <laughs> and also, anybody can tell where a fish... <laughs> This is on the side. Right on the side. It is generally known that a fish travels up stream. Up, 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 up they go. And what goes up must come down, you know. I'm a mother. Dad, that's the cigars, dear. <laughs> the funniest thing that ever happened this evening. <laughs> you with that fish in the sweater. No other sweater girl can make that statement. You know, you may be elected Miss Halibut this year. Well, any of it's worth all the agony as long as you promise to give up that hobby. Oh, I never want to see another fish as long as I live. So come here, let's get rid of everything here that even reminds us of the fish. There you are, sardines. Kippers and salmon. Yeah. 
Say, how'd we ever miss this? A can of clam chowder. Oh, no, no, oh. Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce? We use it on fish. Right. It's got to go. Go. Come on, honey. Let's see what we can find in the front room. All right, darling. Let's go. Let's see. I know. <laughs> Your herring bone jacket. <laughs> Your shark skin suit. <laughs> Look. Salt water taffy. Oh, put it in. <laughs> What's that? Moby Dick. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. That's my cousin Ruth. An old crab, if I ever saw one. <laughs> wait a minute. Your Uncle Clyde, old flounder face. <laughs> okay, honey, you win. You know, I'm through with tropical fish. Everything that even resembles a fish. Oh, that's my so good. <laughs> oh, darling. <laughs> cast were Beverly Wills, Robert Folk, Tom Peters, Alan DeWitt, Marjorie Bennett, and Leon Tyler. Oh!